crash diets. I'm sure you guys have seen from my previous videos, I hate them. I hate them so much, it gets me so emotional, it gets me so revved up. Today I'm gonna to explain the physiological mechanisms behind why crash diets are so bad for you. Not just your relationship with food and, and your relationship with yourself, but actually what's gonna to happen to your body from these crash diets. So before we go forward, I just wanna refresh you quickly on some terms that I know a lot of you are still confused with. So your body expends a certain amount of calories within a day, and you intake a certain amount of calories in a day through your food. So for today's example, I'm gonna use just an ordinary female because it seems like females are the biggest victims to crash diets. So crash diets I've seen are about 800 calories, which is super, super low. But let me explain why that is such a negative situation. So let's just take a normal female. Let's say her BMR, her basal metabolic rate, is 1,300 calories, which is about average. Again, this is just for the example. Now, your basal metabolic rate, as I mentioned before, is the amount of energy your body needs just to live. So if you were to sit on a couch today, do nothing, your body still needs a certain amount of energy taken in every day to power your internal organs and just to function. Now, if a female has a basal metabolic rate of 1,300 calories, which is pretty ordinary, and your calorie intake from your food is 800. You can understand that you are taking in less than your body needs just to function if it was lying still. So I'm hoping you can already see how the red flags are being raised. Now obviously, the beginning of a crash diet is awesome. You're gonna lose weight rapidly. Every time you get on the scale, the number's gonna be dropping, your centimeters are gonna be coming off, and it's exciting. You think that finally you found a solution um, you know, to your ongoing weight problem, and the fact that you are able to undo years of bad work in like two months, it blows your mind and you're so excited about it. So I can understand the appeal behind it. But what happens to your body through this rapid weight loss and through eating less than what your body needs just to function you know, normally in an internal state? So number one, with that rapid weight loss, you are going to lose muscle mass. There's no two ways about it. If you are losing weight extremely fast, it is not just fat, you are losing muscle. Now, this does mean that your basal metabolic rate is gonna go down. Remember I said you need a certain amount of energy per day to power your internal functions. If your muscle mass goes down, that basal metabolic rate will drop. Also, when you're on super low calories, guys, your body fights against it. It adapts. It is extremely good at adapting to the demands you imposed on, imposed on it. Obviously at the beginning, it's a rapid drop. It takes time for your body to catch up in a way. The big thing that it will do when you're on such a restricted amount of calories is going to lower your NEAT levels. Now NEAT stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This is just walking around during the day, fidgeting at your desk, actions you don't have to think about, but they are carried out through the day. And NEAT is a massive contributor to your total daily calorie expenditure what you expend. Now that is gonna drop. Your body knows it is getting less calories taken in, therefore it slows your body down and reduces the calories that you expend out. You understand? It's trying to conserve itself and protect itself. So with your basal metabolic rate down and your NEAT down, your total calories expended in a day is rapidly dropping. By the time you get to the end of the scratch diet, NEAT's down, BMR's down, weight's down, your muscle mass is down, and now you get to the end of the diet. This is when people start breaking. It happens to everyone. It is a normal response to the demands you've imposed on your body. You know, eventually you get to the end of the diet, you are starting to suffer. You're craving everything under the sun. You're tired, you're lethargic. You cannot go another day further. And of course, what happens? You go eat everything in sight. You binge. It is normal because of what you have done to yourself preceding that. You go binge, you go mad, you eat chocolates, you eat ice cream. You know, you eat foods that are highly calorie dense, things that have a lot of calories in it, but perhaps is a small volume of the food, you know, AKA junk. This is basically just a defense mechanism from the body. It wants to get some food in it because it can't cope at such a severe you know, caloric restrictive amount. But if you've been eating 800 calories during this fat diet, 
you're gonna go binge. I promise you, you're gonna blow past that 800 calories, probably in the first meal of the day. When you're binging, you're gonna, you're gonna go crazy. You're probably gonna eat 3,000 calories in a day, maybe 2,500, whatever the case may be. It's gonna be far more than what your previous intake was on the diet. But this is where the great news comes. Your BMR and NEAT and muscle mass had been reduced during that dieting phase. That means your expenditure or your predicted daily expenditure is going to be suppressed. So it is down. You have now moved your calorie intake into severe surplus. Now, if your intake is miles over your expenditure, you are going to gain weight rapidly and fast. And I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this. The minute the diet's over, suddenly within weeks, poof, you blow up again. Now, I know a lot of you might just think that's the way a diet works, you know, the, or maybe you think, you know, I did the crash diet, I was lean for my one week holiday and then I got fat afterwards and it doesn't really matter. Guys, it matters immensely. Let me just tell you a few key areas of why this is going to basically have negative consequences for months and months on end after you've finished that crash diet. So firstly, when you lose fat, you don't actually lose fat cells. The fat cells decrease in size. That is all that happens. You don't lose your number of fat cells. However, when you have extreme rapid weight gain, you actually start to add new fat cells onto your physique. Now, I'm sure you can understand that if every time after a crash diet, you add new fat cells to your body, how do you think fat loss is gonna go on at a later stage when now you have more fat cells on your body. Fat loss is obviously gonna be harder because there are more fat cells to reduce in size. Secondly, your body is primed for fat storage, guys. It's going to rapidly store fat because why? It's been through a phase of basically starvation. It thinks if that happens again, I need to be prepared. Therefore, it's going to take that extra energy and take you out, you know, consuming and it's gonna really make you pack on weight that can that can potentially be used as an energy source at a later stage if you starve yourself again it is trying to defend itself against what you have done to it another phenomenon that perhaps may happen is overreaching so you're going to get a signal in your brain to binge and it's going to make you smash the calories but unfortunately <laughs> your body and your brain aren't as quick as what's happening physiologically so what will happen is that you will binge to a point of where you have exceeded your pre-diet weight a lot of you will find that, that you end up fatter than when you started the diet. That is called overreaching. You're gonna binge to a point where your body overreaches and gains more fat than what you previously had in the um, pre-dieting phase. Hopefully with some of those points, you can see how negative a crash diet can be for you. Not for your, just for your relationship with food, not for the way you feel about yourself, but physiologically what's gonna to happen to you guys. So please, please, please stop fucking following these mad diets, please. I'm begging you guys. I don't make money of people not following fat diets. I'm telling you as a professional that you are gonna cause severe negative consequences. They're gonna stay with you for years.